It's been just over two months on the job for new Bryant football coach Chris Merritt. How has the transition gone? Here's J.P. Smallens. He gave up a successful high school career in Florida to tackle his first college head coaching job. New Bryant boss Chris Merritt returning to the level where he played and began his coaching career. I think they're a great group of kids. They, the, these guys want to get better, and that was the key. Uh, when we came in, we spoke with the senior class first. First meeting I had was with uh, them, told them this is their football team. I'm just going to help them guide them along the way, and uh, they've got to lead it, and they've done an excellent job so far leading this football team. That senior group playing a big role in identifying the right candidate, working with their athletic director to find the third head coach in their four years. Things that we told him, we think he hit it right on the head. Um, we, he brought in a guy who cares about us, family oriented, and wants to do nothing but see us grow. Cares about us, not about just the football aspect, but our families, our relationships, everything that we're doing off the field. The Bulldogs will begin spring practice on March 19th with their annual spring game five weeks and 15 practices later. More chances to grow and learn under their new head coach as they look to build a contender in the NEC. Yeah, I'm not much of a cheerleader when it comes to the weight room stuff. We, we do this because we have to, but I'm, I'm a football coach. I can't wait to get on the field. I can't wait to have a practice plan, and that's my element. That's where I get into it, and, and I'm excited. I want to see what we've got. I want to see uh, how we're going to play our best and, and, and get ready for the NEC. We lost a lot of guys last year, I mean, so we're asking everyone to step up. Um, I, I think we have a bright future with this group. Uh, I mean, we can only set expectations for ourselves, so. We'll see what, how it goes. We understand uh, it's not a fast race. It's going to be uh, every day we have to take the right steps in the right direction. So for us, yeah, we understand what the ultimate goal is, but our whole big thing is, you know, championships aren't won uh, by accident. They happen because of the amount of work that you put in throughout the whole throughout the whole offseason and our offseason workouts. And I feel like so far this year, within our winter runs, as we head into getting ready for spring ball, I think we've been doing a great job and taking steps in the right direction. In Smithfield, I'm J.P. Smollins, Eyewitness Sports.